Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Breaking Bread. My name is Pastor Lloyd Cocker with Gospel and Ministries. And I just want to thank you for joining me this evening. Amen. This is Breaking Bread. As uh, if you're new to this show, this is where we take the Word of God and dissect it, break it down. You know, um, uh, as I just wanted to, for those that are now coming in, I just want to introduce myself again. It's Pastor Lloyd Cocker with Gospel of Ministries at 2078 North Liberty Street. And anytime you are in that area, please join us. Uh, um, our services are from on, on Sundays at 1230. Uh, but to this, to this evening, I want to I want to welcome you to Breaking Bread, and this is the show, like I uh, uh, said before, where we take the Word of God, we break it down, we dissect it. You know, I love the Word of God. God says that uh, uh, the you know um, in Matthew four four, Jesus said, "Man does not live on bread alone, but on every single word that proceeds out of the mouth of God." Amen. So God's word is, 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 is food. It is a, a drink. It is life. You know, um, I love the old, well, even some of the new Bibles with the red letters. They call them the red letter Bibles. And it shows that everything that Jesus spoke was in red. And that red represents his blood. So God, those are blood words. When you look at those words, those are words that are covered in blood. Amen. And if you know, if you know, and we're going to get, I, I'm, I'm going to share a little secret with you guys today. Um, if you please, as, as, as I'm speaking, um, invite, share this, 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 this broadcast because you definitely don't want to miss it. Uh, there's going to be revelation into the word like you've never seen or heard before. And that's what this show is all about, just revealing, unveiling God's word, amen, showing you the secrets that are, uh, 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 the mysteries that is in the word of God, amen. And I tell you, it, I get excited every time because God's word is so powerful. I mean, it is sweet. You know, the Bible says that pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones, health to the body. And that's uh, Proverbs 16, 23, uh, uh, pleasant words, God's words. They're pleasant words. They're pure words. They are sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Amen. So uh, uh, God's word is, is, is something that we should never neglect. And I want to encourage you, encourage everyone that is watching this broadcast to fall in love with the word of God. Fall in love with the word of life. Fall in love with Jesus Christ. And, I, and that's what this program is all about. It's just to get you to fall in love with the word of life. Amen. The bridegroom. Amen. We are the bride. He is the bridegroom. Whoo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As I was saying, you know, sometimes I get so excited and I start going all over the place with the word of God. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it uh, 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 in, in one area today so that we can all just get into it together. Amen. Today I wanted to talk about the word being clay. Clay. Um, I want to ex I, I, I explain. I'm, we're going to go deeper into that. Um, and, and, and like I said before, we have used, you know, we've, there's so many secrets into God's word. You know, God's word is, is, is valuable, it's treasure. I mean, you look, at through the, you look through the scriptures, it says there's, there's nothing more valuable than the word of God. If you look through Job 28, uh, uh, starting from even verse 12, it starts talking the price of wisdom. Nothing can compare to it. Not, not even the gold of, uh, uh, in Africa or uh, in Ethiopia, the, 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 the diamonds, the, the jewels, all the things that are, uh, uh, are precious stones cannot compare to the value of God's word. So we've also talked about God's word being food. Uh, Jesus said, eat this bread. He is the bread of life. 
It talks about uh, uh, um, um, just uh, his, his word was made flesh. And he said, eat my flesh. Amen. Drink my blood. You know, we talk about the word being that drink, that drink for the thirsty soul. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. It says in the book of Proverbs. And good news is the gospel. It's like refresh, refreshment, refreshing to the soul. So let us never neglect the word of God. You know, it's nothing grievous. It's nothing, but it is food for the soul. Amen. And today, you know, I just wanted us to focus on, on the word clay. You know, clay is used in the Bible a lot. Very popular um, from actually uh, uh, dust also. Clay is, 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 the word is interchangeable with uh, dust. And when you look at uh, the beginning in Genesis, it's, it said we are made from the dust. Amen. Man was formed with the dust of the earth. Amen. So we're going to break that down. Uh, uh, um, we're going to talk about clay. It says clay was a basic building material in biblical times. And uh, also, um, it was very, it was widely used. Clay was wide. I mean, they, they used it for everything back in those times, to make pots, to make cups, to make uh, 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 um, um, jars, things that hold water, that hold liquid, uh, uh, pots that cook the food was made with clay. Amen. And also, we were made from clay. It says it in the scriptures, all over the scriptures, and that's where I want to I want to I want to focus on today because uh, um, I want us to know that we are actually uh, 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 formed in clay, and God is the Potter. Amen. We are the clay, and He is the Potter. So I'm going to talk about that also. But um, but before we start, I want us to just to just uh, uh, um, picture this that that clay was used to make jars and pots. And, and, and also, I want us to look at us as, as those jars and pots. Amen? I want us to just, just look at that, because when you look at the book of John, there was a scripture um, that, that, that Jesus was, was uh, 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 um, involved in, 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 in a wedding in Cana, and he told them, he said, Jesus said unto them, uh, this is John 2, verse 7. Jesus said unto them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. So this was a, uh, uh, when Jesus, you know, he told, he told his disciples, he said, he said, he said that, uh, uh, um, actually, I'm going to backtrack a little bit, because if you go to the previous verses, Jesus' mother asked him at a wedding when they ran out of wine, she asked him, she said, hey, they ran out of wine. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing here a little bit. And Jesus said, he said, uh, 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 um, what, what, what have I to do with that? You know, he says, his hour has not yet come. But his mother said unto the servants, whatsoever he said unto you, do it. And that's where I want to focus on. Because whatever the word of God says to us, we have to do it. Amen. We have to do it. This came from his mother. And, 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 and that was very, very powerful. And it says that the, the, what did the disciples do? They've got six water pots, six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three first skins apiece. And Jesus said unto them, fill the water pots with water. But if you fast forward that whole story, he turned the water into wine. You know, he turned that, uh, 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 as we're talking about uh, the word of God being that water. But what Jesus did, he turned that water into wine. And it's talk I'm talking about that spiritual wine, that wine that, that brings joy to the heart, the joy of the Holy Spirit. And it happened during that, uh, that time of the wedding, amen? That is the, 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 the actual, um, 
when when we become unified, when we become uh, united with 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 the bridegroom, with Jesus Christ, the Word of God, we are the bride, the church. We start enjoying that joy of the Holy Spirit, and I like talking like this, and I, I you know, so that uh, some of you may catch it, and, and and if you don't catch it right now, just keep following. You know, following the show, follow uh, uh, this program because we will definitely break it down. Amen. We will break it down for you. So I, w- I just want to talk about how is uh, the jars, the pots. These pots hold water. They hold food. We ourselves are formed in the clay. We are like those pots. Amen. Where we we carry food, which is the word of God, and we carry that. That, that water and that wine, amen, when we are carrying Jesus Christ, when Christ is living in us, he says, from within shall flow rivers of living waters. So we are, we are carriers, we, we carry water, we carry food, amen, when we are connected with Jesus Christ. So I'm going to get deeper into that a little bit. I don't want to give it all uh, um, um, up right now in the beginning, but I want us to take a look at a scripture uh, um, real quick, and that scripture is in Isaiah 64, verse 8. If you can take a look at that, Isaiah 64, verse 8, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the King James Version here. He says, but now, O Lord, thou art our father, and we are the clay, and thou art our potter. We are all the work of thy hands. We're all the work of your hands. Amen. We are all the work of God's hands. He is our father. We are the clay. I want you to pay close attention to that because that's very, very powerful. We are the clay. He is the potter. And I'm telling you, I, uh, you know, my, uh, uh, my daughter just celebrated her second birthday, um, uh, four, five days ago. And, um, and I had a picture, I had a picture of her when she was first born, when she came out of the womb, um, and she was covered in this white substance. And this substance was very white, very sticky, and the doctors had to clean her off, you know, clean, clean it off of her, and they handed her to me. And, I, and the Lord, as, I, as she was clean, you know, as, as uh, she was being clean, uh, as the doctors was wiping off that, that substance, the Lord spoke to me and said, that is clay. That is how I formed her in the womb. Amen. Every single one of us is formed in, in the womb with clay. And, 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 and I have a very, you know, I wish I would have bought a, a larger picture with me. But I'm going to hold this picture of the phone if it'll show of a baby. Uh, 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 um, and and, and you, you can see that baby is covered in that vernix right there, if you're able to see that. But just to give you an example that we are all the work of God's hands. He is the potter. We are the clay. Amen? And, and, and as the scripture says in Jeremiah, we are all the work of his hands. Amen? And I just want to keep... Uh, 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 revealing these uh, uh, scriptures to you. If you can turn to Job chapter 10, verse 9. Job chapter 10, verse 9. You know, uh, uh, if you follow the story, and then it says, there, there's, a, there's a part, it says, Remember, I beseech you. He says that you have made me as the clay, and will thou bring me back to the dust again? So now you see the, the, the play of words. He referred the clay and then also back to the dust. So you see, and, and, and I tell you, I remember back in the days, uh, or, or even um, when, when we wash our cars, you know, we go to the store, to the um, discount store, and buy wax, and you start, you know, we start, at first it's a little bit sticky, we start rubbing it on the vehicle, but if you leave it too long, it dries up and it becomes like dust. It becomes very flaky, it becomes clay. It becomes clay. So that's another example, even when you look at the baby, when it comes out of the womb and that vernix is, 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 is still on the baby's skin, it becomes very dry. 
Amen. So those are good examples right there. But I just want to bring you to that. I want you to really think that every single one of us, every single one of us was created by the hand of God. He says, as you don't know how the spirit enters into the womb of a pregnant woman and forms the bones and causes the bones to grow. He says, we don't know all the things about God. Amen. I mean, I, it's so amazing to think of how the wo- how a spirit enters into the womb and forms the, the bones. You know, even there was a scripture where Jesus, there was a man who was blind. And Jesus, he took him out of, uh, 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 out of the city and he used the clay and, and fixed his eyes just to let you know that he is the father, you know, he is the son. And him and the Father are one. I, we're going to talk about that, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And they all three are one. So if you know that story in the new, in, 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 when Jesus uh, uh, fixed the man's eyes with, with clay, you will know that, hey, this is our, this is the, our maker, amen, that came in the flesh. I tell you, I get excited when I'm talking about the Word of God. But if you look at Job 33, verse 6, another scripture is Job 36, uh, 33, verse 6. It says, Behold, I am according to thy wish in God's stead. I am formed out of the clay. There go Job's, uh, uh, Job mentioned, it was mentioned again in the book of Job. He says, I am just like you in the sight of God. He said, I am too, I too was formed out of clay. Amen. So I just want us to really, really pay attention that, that God is real. He is our maker. A world that denies God is a foolish world. Amen. Uh, 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 if if we can look at the wonders of God, I, you know, the other day I was in Orlando and I saw the beautiful, all the fishes in the sea. I saw the, uh, uh, you know, just the, just, just the beauty of God's creation. I'm talking about, uh, you know, went to an aquarium and I saw all these different, the jellyfish and, and all these different things that, that God created. And I said, wow, God is wonderful. Whoo! I mean, who can deny our creator? He is so wonderful. So uh, uh, it, it's, I just want to encourage you right now to, 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 to don't, don't even follow the ideas of, 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 of the atheists and, and all these other uh, groups that deny the power of God and deny God himself because we see the evidence. Amen. It says in Job, uh, in Jeremiah 18, verse 6. This is Jeremiah 18, verse 6. It says, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter? Said the Lord, behold, as the clay is in the hand of the potter's hand. He says, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, whole house of Israel. Amen. So we are in the hand of the Lord. Amen. We are in his hand. We shall never forget that. That's why we always have to go to God, our father. Amen. We always have to seek him. We always have to be connected to him so that he can mold us. He can mold us. Just as he molds the flesh, he says, I want you to be born again. I want you to be born again. John verse, uh, 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 John chapter 3, verse 3. It talks about being born again, but this time being formed in the Spirit. Amen? Being molded by the Spirit. Whoo! So this is uh, 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 the powerful God that we serve. And I'm just going to give you one more scripture. And it is in uh, Romans 9, chapter 9, verse 19 through 21. I love the Word of God. I love the Scriptures. Um, I want us to get into these Scriptures together always and, 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 and dig deep. Amen. It says, Thou wilt say unto me, Why doth he, set, does he, he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed 
say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Has not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? You see that? That is the power of God. Amen. God, sometimes we have to just trust in him. Amen. That's why we always have to put our trust in him, not to be proud, not to be like Pharaoh. He made Pharaoh was proud. Amen. If you go all the way back to the to the to the beginning, Pharaoh was proud, spirit of pride. And he said that he made he used him as an example to show his power. Amen. Who? So it, 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 and, and it talks about Moses being meek. He was one of the meekest men on earth, the Bible says. And it says, blessed are the meek, for they shall be called, for they shall inherit the earth. Amen. The meek inherit the earth. So I just want to uh, uh, share this, these uh, uh, scriptures today. Uh, um, I want you to look at this word of God. And, and, and as we, we reveal, as it's being revealed to you, I want you to sit down and think, think, meditate, meditate on it. You know, we are that clay. We are that clay. We are that, uh, 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 um, that, 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 that pot that can carry this food. Amen. When God has called you, when you've been born again, when God is molding you, God is sending you out. You have to take this food with you. You have to take the, the, the good news. Amen. You've got to spread the good news. You've got to do it in conversation. We've got to do it in, 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 in our household, in our, with our family, with everywhere we go. We have to take this food as that, uh, 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 and take the, 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 the drink. And I'm going to close with this because um, uh, um, as, we, as, we, as, we, as we look at this, you look at so many of the... Uh, um, the the men of God, the prophets, uh, Moses, you look at the prophets, you look at Moses, you look at the disciples, they carried food. They carried, you know, from Moses, we, we received the, 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 the law, the Ten Commandments, and then you, we had the prophets, and then we have the disciples that we receive uh, uh, um, the, uh, the Gospels, and Paul, we received the epistles. They were food carriers, amen? They were food carriers. And not just uh, uh, um, representing those pots, but also baskets. They were baskets. When you look at Moses, when Moses was young and the lock went out to destroy all the children, his mother placed him in a basket. And from Moses, we received all the, the law and the Ten Commandments and everything. Amen? From that basket. And that basket represents food also. And when you look at uh, the disciples, Jesus fed 5,000, thousands. And he said at the end, there was 12 baskets. And those baskets went forth. We received the Gospels. We received the, the, the you know, Peter, John. We receive these books. And then you have, fast forward to Paul. Paul, one time he was being chased. And he said he had to be let out of the window on a basket. Amen. And from that basket, we received the epistles, the, 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 the book of Corinthians and all these different books. So I just want you to, to know at this time, to stay encouraged and stay uh, 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 um, in the Word of God, knowing that you are that pot, that you are that jar, you are that clay. And you know, clay is very fragile. Amen. So it has to be handled with care. It has to be handled with care. But we're gonna close. Uh, we're gonna we 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 we're gonna close with with, with that. But but before we close. I just want us to say the Lord's Prayer. Amen. If you could just pray the Lord's Prayer with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 If you pray that prayer, there's one part I want you to pay real close attention to where it says forgive others their trespasses so that we will be forgiven. Amen. So if there's anyone that has offended you or, uh, 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 you know, it, whether it was today, yesterday or 10 years ago, I want you to forgive them. Amen. As we forgive, we are forgiven. Amen. So thank you for joining me this evening. Please, same time eight, at 8 o'clock next Sunday. God bless you. Amen.